Hello and welcome back everyone to the glitch part 13. We are currently the inside level 7 of the entire complex. Things will start getting worse and worse progressively and geometrically. So anyways, welcome to the large open areas of level 7. As you can see this area is also metallic by substance. Alright, there's a secret over here. I don't want to bypass this one a little bit. So, let's check what this area has for me. Canned meat storage. I'll take it. I have to leave one canned meat behind. For crying's sake. This is... How shall I put this? Ridiculous. I have a backlog of everything. Well, not everything. Health, mostly. That's just a bit crazy, isn't it? Oh. See tentacle monster over there? Welcome to squid! Jeez! That thing is armed with a laser. Shoot it a bit and it dies. That laser will kill you really quickly. The other thing that we encountered was a welder bot. Those things can sometimes drop tasers, which are quite nice. The squid bots, the lethal. However, they are predictable. If they start opening up their lids, you run. Run like the wind. Run like the mayor and his three daughters. Okay. I... I... Ah, frick. I was there to say that I have way too much of everything again. And nothing at the same time. Ammunition-wise, we're not doing too fancy. It's a rare sight to see a zombie watching around the facility. At this later stage, you should predict mostly mechanical units and these guys. Say hello to the scientists. They're high-value personnel for the AI because they're actually smart and they're used for things. They ba they basically use their knowledge for things. The only reason they're alive is. To Ow. We need a better approach to this. It's dead. Well, it wasn't alive to start with, so it's not dead. Hmm, another secret. I'm starting to be quite attentive to these secrets. That's this, a stimulant. Are you kidding me? It's the secret. A stimulant. Who needs that for crying out loud? I already took drugs last time. Camera. Let's just wait for it to do its rounds, then take it out. Hmm. Awfully quiet. I have nail gun takedown. Hmm. Not that I think about it, a nail gun actually is sufficient ammo. Should ow break. It's a bad position. We need to last gun it. Alright, let's pull back to the canned room storage. Canned room store. I just noticed we missed a locker at the beginning of the map. What's this? That looks like a large pipe, but it isn't. Interesting. I'm still keeping this pistol despite its low ammunition count. There's a reason. That reason will reveal itself shortly. 
So let's just restock. Dump the cans. Who knows, if I find RDXs, I'm going to come back here and craft some expl... You know what? Let's burn through my last explosives. I don't use these things a lot. To me, they're only useful for crafting. It looks like this open area is not so open. Ah oh yes, I almost forgot. We forgot to empty out the beginning locker. What the heck is it? Ah, revolver. Now I remember. Dump it. I have no need of craven weapons. So again, this is just eerie. To have so much health means I'm doing something good, am I right? Nail box that I can't use. Med kits. Med kits actually are useful. Taze bot. Well, it's a welder bot. A bit of fire from the last gun and. It, oh. Why did I grab the taser? For crying out loud, we have to use the HV rifle. But yes, these things drop tasers. Which can be quite useful to rearm your last gun ammunition. You also want to tap fire it. Its fire rate is quite ridiculous and you will expend your ammunition quite quickly. In fact, uselessly. Tap firing is the best strategy. Tap firing grants you a whole load of advantages, including preserving the ammunition of this thing and, well, being accurate with it as well. You don't want to spray and pray with it all the time. Ow, frick. Come on over here. Down to 20 shotgun shells. 24. Not good. That's a well bot. Take him out. So as you can see, the later enemies become less finely tuned meaty bits, more annoying heavily armored bots. Down. Next target. Some plates. Magnet. Magnet. The magnet is the only item in the game that you'll find once. Let me just craft, check the crafting intel for that thing. Items. Magnet. You can use it to craft two unique items. The railgun and the mag shield. For some reason I can't craft the mag shield. Let's recheck the data. Two microchips plus plate plus magnet. Two microchips. That kills it. On RDX 500. It used backtracking. Let's drop that, that, that. Let's dump the supplies here, then head back to the room, gather up the last cans, grab microchips and try to get the magnet going. The railgun's basically an energy weapon that, well, to say the least, it works. I prefer the mag shield. What's the mag shield, you might be asking? The mag shield is a defensive barrier that, well, it basically redirects the bullets. It's not exactly a shield per se, just a magnetic shield that will... will Force bullets to miss. A lot. Alright, so this is the beginning layer. We need the secret location. Now, it does increase your survivability by quite a bit. Having the ability to just reduce the amount of bullets that you take is quite an amazing thing. Let's try to craft some cannon rounds. That's sad. Can't use RDX 500s to craft cannon rounds. I was expecting them to craft into 
But you know that nail ammo can actually be used to craft. Can actually be crafted. Oh, that's the revolver we dumped over there. We're, we have one microchip. We need two of them. I'll take that tube as well. At this point, we need every supplies we can get. Alright, let's get back to the location. Drop off all of the supplies that we've gathered. And let's be sure about this. So the magnet microchip and plates are definitely going to stay with me. The mag magnet large tube and plates. Those are core supplies I can't miss out on. Mainly because they're rare to use. That sort of thing. I think there are no more secrets. I've already checked everything quite thoroughly. Alright, so I'll try to take this thing out with the machine gun. It's, well, that did better than I thought. Oh, God. God, God, God. Some pistol shots against you will knock you out. Alright, that thing around the corner can't hit us properly. Come on. I might have explosives that lob it around the corner and that should just blow it up. But, no explosives. Large open area. Eerie. I heard something. It's you bastards. <laughs> no. Oh, wow. Did not expect that. Guards, still threat. I'd of course love it if I could just get that mag shield going. Yep. Hello. risky here, but risk is part of the job. Not really. I think that's a guard in the back. Also, yes, you can bump into the trees and can't cross them. Yep, that's a guard. Movement speed matches. Oh no, it's a scientist. <laughs> Scientists are really difficult to take out. They have light armor, which means normal weapons typically are less efficient against them. And they are quite decently equipped. The SMG is the only upgraded variant of the pistol that I prefer. The SMG increases per bullet damage, which is the only reason I like it. It still retains the inaccuracy elements of the auto pistol and auto fire elements. Hmm. I'd say we're going strong right now. So, we have a couple of doors we can check out. Oh! Here we have a regular encounter of a war walker. These things c start to become common, to say the least. They're going to become, eventually, your common enemy. Alright, let's pull back an AGL. Said AGL them, not... Ow. Freaking hell. Never stab them. I made that mistake a lot. But then again, ammunition preser preservation is a bit more important to me than health. Microchip. Hmm. Dump the tube here. Grab the mic. Grab the microchip. Head back. Grab the supplies. Craft the mag shield. And get back. Plan accepted. Thick steel plate. Good for building something. Programmable 8-bit microprocessor. 
Industrial Strength Heavy Magnet. It certainly is a heavy magnet, and so it leads industrial strength. Also, I'm sincerely sorry about the backtracking, but there's no nothing I can really do about it. Mag shields. Magnetic shield that deflects bullets as they approach. I love it. Yeah. We're in a problem position again. I have nothing... Well, we can drop the med kit. I still am overstocking on those quite a lot. Normally at this point you'd have two stacks of medkits at most. I have four. The hardware is fairly common, so I'll dump that a lot in favor of the large tubes. Now what's inside of here? Another plate. Could do with some armor. And now the hardware actually has relevant room. Nope, oh, here we go. Uh, saw that? Saw that? That's the mag shield at work. That's the mag shield at work, ladies and gentlemen. That is how the mag shield works. Alright, here we go. A B, central reactor cooling sector or military software sector. We're going to go to the reactor cooling sec section. Because well, it's the harder part. And harder area. Let's check the last door and let's be on our way. Because well I'm sitting at this location. As you can see, the difficulty rapidly swings up in the types of enemies as well. You now have to be extremely careful with your AP ammunition. Alright, let's try to hold our ground if anything comes in. Sneaky, sneaky. Here we have the chest with the RDX 250 med kit. Now what? Screw it. Let's get out. Let's get out. Let's get the heck out. To reactor cooling chambers. Can't remember if the heavy tube was here. I'll check on it between episodes. I'm going to go through the central reactor cooling sector next. Everything in the facility is powered by the reactor. The reactor itself is built deep into the planet core and is designed to be inaccessible for humans. But its cooling station is located above the ground level. The cooling sector itself is a clean, well-guarded place. I could try to sabotage and manually destroy or shut down the coolers, but then I would certainly die myself the resulting reactor explosion as well. And self-sacrifice was my never must never be my favorite form of altruism. It seems the only way out for me is the hard way. Staying alive. It certainly is. The further we get, the more chaotic the stars become. I mean, what the heck is this place? Alright. I'm starting to get quite nervous. It's at this point that my memory will start to... The second large tube. Here we craft the cannon! Old school hand cannon. Shoots 25 millimeter explosive shells. As you can see, I've already stocked up on plenty of its ammunition later on. Now, when you firstly craft it, you're not going to have the recipe for the crafting of the ammunition. I, however, have crafted it before. And once you craft it once, you permanently get the recipe. Now let's drop that. Explodey thing. Cannon. I'll try to present it off to you in a good way. Soon enough, hopefully. Enemies. Shoot away with you. Also, as you can see, that's why I kept my pistol. Another reason why I kept my pistol, rather. Now we can replace it with the SMG that I'll find somewhere. Of these guys, most likely. Ow! 
Ow! Frick. The, the screen shake was more damaging to me than... The screen shake was a bit more damaging to me than the whole damage that I took. Which was the funny part. Oh. Warwalker. Magnetic shield. Mag shield. <laughs> Slice that thing open and kill that guy dead. Good old weapon. Out here we grab the SMG there's. So as you can see my inventory more and more starts looking like it. Crazy gunman's display. Oh god. Alright, let's take that thing down then. Let's present the cannon. I think that was good. Yes, those guys also have las guns. Which makes them all the more dangerous. But yes, as you can see, the cannon is an explosive cannon. It's a cannon. I think the other one's a zombie as well. Yep. These chain gun zombies replace the old big zombies. Now keep in mind, there's one room I remember particularly well in this map. Particularly. It's the barracks. The barracks is filled with scientists. And guards. Ow, ow! That's why you pay attention. That's why you pay attention, mate. Barrage. The firefighter going on around here. Nail gun's still sufficiently... Well, has decent ammunition. I'll give it that much. Oh, I'm about to sneeze. God dang it, that was quick reflexes. <laughs> I managed to. I think I turned off the mic before I sneezed. We all hear sneeze. No, that's that. Teleportation. Location marked on map. Another tube. I'm starting to get less of a need for those crafting ingredients. Specifically because I have nothing to craft. That guy also has an SMG. Ow. So nothing. <laughs> Too much health. Not a, not enough uses for it. I'll grab the microchip because it's the only item that actually has relevant use. And the only relevant use for it is to craft teleporters. A oh, squid thing. Prepare for it to come through. I think its armor reduces when it opens up to fire its laser. But you never want it to open up, believe me. Also, it's kind of nice because you can hear those beep beeps, but at the same time, it's only a warning. Two plates. Really? Also, wait. Five plates! <laughs> In total! <laughs> I got allowed to go four plates over there. Storage cabinets marked on map. Yeah, I guess I should move back. Before leaving this level, I will craft the armors. Because then I, in a way, will be wasting the plates, but at the same time, it's better than leaving them behind. That's a uh, bloody. Whatchamacallit? Squid. If you want to call it Japanese anime, anime demon thing, I just called it squid. Yep, freak, laser. Oh wow, that was quite. Ow, exquisite. All right, let's wait for those guys to come in. Goodbye. 
Get him. Ow. That was really stupid on my part. Well, at least I got some wasting going. Let's grab enough materials for the next armor piece. If I find extra plates, I'll know what to do. And yes, that was highly stupid of me. Never do that again, yada yada yada. I can afford to make mistakes at this point. I have a nice cushion reserve. Try everything that I need highly. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. We're gonna help. As you can see, the mag shield helps, but it doesn't prevent everything. Oh, wow. Imagine that last cannon runs off and I would have been slaughtered. Well, I have a cushion reserve, as I said. Can't meet. Quite an awesome thing. Alright, let's meet this thing. Come on over here, mate. Goodbye. Good frickin' bye. Hmm, more microchips. I got another teleporter. Yeah, except sadly, we can't stack them. <laughs> At least I have more room for my medkits. And having two teleporters makes me double sure that I'm not going to die so quickly. Hmm, there's a plate over here. Nail box. Ugh. I think we're going to leave that plate there for eternity. Oh, blast cannon. Also, why the heck am I calling it a last cannon? It's not last cannon, it's clearly the last gun. Too much Warhammer 40k for you. But it is a bloody last cannon, for crying out loud. And it can slice through everything quite quickly. Like a hot knife through butter. You want to call that thing a last cannon. I'm interested by the fact that we still haven't found the barracks subsection. Down with you. Well, I was gonna ammo quite short, but... Some explosives. Shotgun shells. Hmm, I could just dump... <laughs> Alright, let's count the health again. 75, 150, 225, 275. Crazy. Crazy indeed. <laughs> Plus two teleporters. No, no, not the squid thing. Gone with you. No, wait with you. You will die as well, zombie. Down and out. Let's keep moving. Map looks clean. Oh. This is the boss fight room. Hope you're ready for this. Your opposition is going to be brutal. Say hello to the rocket launcher demon thing. Strangely enough, there's a chest inside of here. Ow! Friggin' hell! Mm, but it went down quickly. That's the good part. Might put chip, hardware. Had to expense of my medkits, but. It's unavoidable at this point. I could have dodged those shots a bit better, but... Hmm. Wasn't there medkits up here? 
yes, backtracking, quite fun. No what? No backtrack. We missed a door. Backtracking it is then. I'm sorry about making you all go through this situation, but I won't see everything. Barracks! I was wondering where this thing was. As I said, barracks. Literal barracks. You can just go in and I'll have an auto fire inside. Also, no auto pistol needed, I'll take the SMG. And sure as hell, I went in guns blazing. Now let's check the upside area. There are some medkits I can grab. That make me just a tad bit safer. And those are the explosives. I think the boom up here had the medkits. Empty can, hardware. A plate. Some useful nail box. So no health. Now things to note about that thing. It's rocket launcher boss fight. That thing is rocket launchers, yes. And they sort of have partial heat seeking. Though the best tactic you can do is stay behind the pillars and wait for it to try to melee lunge against you. As I was doing just there because I well it was sufficiently efficient. actually did manage to decently wipe it out. Trust me, I never died on that boss fight. Mostly because it's easy. Comparatively. Blight, goodbye, hello, medkit 50. Also looks like we're not going to be able to get my favorite minigun. Well, it's not a favorite for me, but it's at least a good weapon. Here is the teleporter out of here. Hmm. Let's take it. <laughs> yeah. Out of here. That was... Section 8. There's no going back now. I've decided not to sacrifice myself and not to blow up the facility. No, it's like it's a corporation, meaning it's just as replaceable asset as that. For me, as I am for them. So I'm going to survive to tell my future friends the story of how I escaped this hellhole. At least that's the plan. Before the experiment, I had visited the global weapons sector for a while, but I heard they were working on some new big gun. And had even built a prototype. Unfortunately, they, they never had many physical prototypes since much of their work was done digitally. The weapons sector would be the last facility level between me and the master teleport sector. I'm almost there. That's the blue walker. And this is episode over. Part 14 coming up soon. Thank you all for watching.